Dr. Joseph Chapelone is with us this hour, coming to us from Australia, but coming to us from the universe, in a way, because the message he brings is always extraordinary, limitless in its uh, dimensions, and always limitless in its importance. Depending upon uh, whether or not you believe what he has to say, he is always interesting nonetheless. And I go back, way, way back with uh, Joseph. I don't know when it was. It had to be 20 years ago, or nearly. But uh, his essay, Terminal Madness of the End Times, was the first real written harbinger pointing to where we are right now. And it stands today as uh, just as uh, important as it was when he first wrote it. Hello, Joseph, and welcome back to the program. Hello, Jeff. How are you? I'm uh, getting better, thank you. And, uh, oh, that's good. Oh, I wish you well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Jeff, um, this is going to be a very important show for a number of reasons. It may well be our last. Now, I'll explain why in a little while. As well, we don't, we don't want that. I, you're a steady uh, hand. A, we I'm, need it. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid uh, it's on the card, Jeff. Now, All right. Now, look, let me explain as we go along. Okay. Um, first of all, um, this news is very dramatic, and the conclusions I give are going to be very dramatic. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I give this information for people to prepare. I've done so for the last 30 years. Very few have listened. But I would like your audience, if they're not, they're easily traumatized or fearful and don't want to know what's in the immediate future, to please go away from the uh, computer or whatever they're listening with. I think this uh, audience is going to stay right where they are, Joseph. This is a very bright, a very open-minded audience. Uh, So let's go. Yeah. I'm glad. Okay. In order to highlight what I'm going to say, I'm going to explain what existence is. Now, I know this sounds facile, but it's not. We are beings that are spiritual. We are trapped in these physical bodies. This is a trap. We're in an illusion. Mm-hmm. And these bodies die every now and then. They don't, can't last very long. They're mm-hmm. made that way. Mm-hmm. They've got telomeres, as you know, in the cells to kill them off, to tell right. them when to die. The telomeres, so, and, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, as spirits, we then go to a, an astral level, an etheric level, that are also part of this evil dimension that we're in. And then we reincarnate. We're forced back and so on it goes. That's not for everybody. There are some beings like myself who mm-hmm. come from outside of the system and periodically come in to prepare people and also provide them with energy to keep going. We, like I said 30 years ago with my very first book, when I was told to now release the information, um, we are now at the final stage of correcting this sector of the universe um, and and destroy it completely. Who is we? We is the uh, aliens, supreme aliens who do this work. 95% 95% of the universe is gone. It's not there. We have cleaned it out. We've broken it down brick by brick, and it no longer exists. I dare any scientist, any astronomer, to find the 95% that is missing. Even the small amount that we think we see in the, in the Milky Way and the galaxies around it are not really there, because they're billions. Of, it's light from billions of years ago. They, they, that light does no longer exist. It's only light travelling to us, but the source does not exist. Having said all that, let me tell you what happened 35 years ago exactly, in 1985. At a meeting in a spacecraft outside of the dimension, I know it's hard for people to accept these concepts, Uh, they said it's time. Let them know what's going on. So I wrote my first book, and I said that that all living matter will be cleared from the Earth Within the next 50 years, the, the outer limit would be 19, uh, 2035. And I would be here to, for the last day to make sure that the job is done. If it could be done earlier, and it is being done earlier, we would do it. Now, I'm here to tell you, Jeff, as the leader of that uh, command, I can't tell you much more than that at this moment. You, you have to accept it on faith or otherwise. We are ready to finish by November next year. By November next year, there will be no Earth. Let me explain how. Next week, 
there's a 96% chance that America will fracture completely, California will fall into the sea due to the solar alignment, or the planetary alignment that is occurring. Next week? Next week, on the 28th, 29th of May. All right. And that will cause massive tsunamis into the Pacific that will wash over to Japan and destroy Japan. Mm. Japan will simply be swallowed up by the Pacific Ocean. And as I wrote in 1985, uh, the islands will simply roll into the sea. Now, that has also been forecast by others. I didn't know that when I wrote my book, including Edgar Cayce and Nostradamus. Now, this planetary alignment that I'm referring to, Nostradamus pointed out almost 500 years ago. It's an impossibility unless he was being uh, given uh, specific information from another level, because as you know, the, the telescope wasn't even invented at that stage. But he made it precisely, and it involved a, a number of alignments that will fracture the West Coast. I'm sorry to say this, but it's a pretty much a certainty. Now, you have three barometers that you can go by within the next week. Mm -hmm. The first one is the heat in the uh, Yellowstone Lake. Mm -hmm. That heat is rising dramatically, and that's a, a, to tell you that the magma underneath is heating up and ready to explode. Secondly, it's the activity of your pets. Animals know when the massive uh, earthquake or any earthquake is going to come. Yes, they and do. Hmm? Yes, they yes. do. Yes. And thirdly, is what the birds are in California are going to do. If you see they're disappearing, migrating, and your little pets are activated and they want to leave and get out of the house and so on, uh -huh. you know it's on for young and old. Now, huh. following that, there's going to be a chaos, a massive, massive chaos in America, as you know, and although 50, 60 million people will die instantly, the rest will going to be a massive panic, and now you know why this Jade Helm is there. The military is there to prevent chaos, which they won't. They'll prevent chaos by killing people. This is what they're planning, and the rest that they can capture, they'll put in those camps. That's the second thing, but our woes are not over now. What mechanisms are there now left to destroy the earth? Now, I'm not saying this to frighten people. If they'd have taken notice of what I had to say 30 years ago, they would all be prepared in a, from a spiritual perspective to accept this. And, and death is simply going from the kitchen of your room into the lounge room. If you know that, there is no fear. If you don't know that, physical death is extremely traumatizing. The thought of it is, but once it happens... As uh, people that have come back to me after that, I say, what was the big deal? It was nothing. I, 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 tr I transferred from one dimension into the next. You're talking about people who went through NDEs and came back to you as a no, doctor and I'm told you? No, I'm talking about people that have died or are in the astral. Ah, okay. Many, I can communicate with them. Many have come back and told me. But that's not important. What I'm saying is people have got to have a mindset that the physical death means nothing. It's the fear that we have. That is everything. We have to destroy that fear. That's why I gave this information out 30 years ago to prepare people. And so few listened that it, it became a joke. Do you remember I was called Dr. Doom, Dr. Death? Oh, and yeah. People laughed at me. yeah. And I said, okay, okay, you'll get yours when it's time. This is time. We're down to the last two years and less. Now, what's going to happen is, as you know, this planet X is heating up the whole solar system. We can measure this by volcanic activity, by earthquakes that are happening, and by also temperature rising in all the planets in the solar system and also the, um, the resonance of them, the human resonance, as it were, in them, the ones that we can measure, by which we know that as a heightened activity, the whole solar system is going to fracture, and so is the sun, not just the Earth. The whole thing has to go. And the whole Milky Way has to go. Now, why do I know so much about it? That's going now, to be a big... Your... Joseph, excuse me, but if the whole Milky Way goes, that's going to be a big galactic mess. Yes, it will very quickly. Now, why do I know so much about it? Now, this part I've never revealed before. It's because I, the, the consciousness, not the physical body, obviously. The body was born 71 years ago and it'll die very shortly with the, with the Earth. 
is because I, the higher consciousness that's in this body, have been involved with destroying that 95% that is no more and with involved with destroying the solar system and uh, the whole Milky Way and all the galaxies around them. We have photographic evidence of galaxies just being swallowed up by black holes and so on or colliding and being destroyed and so on. And there are many people that can astral travel and come back and tell us that they've seen these things. It's nothing new. It's just something that knowledge has been hidden from people by the idiocy of modern science and uh, the non-spiritual aspect of reality that we have on this level. So let me go forward. Planet X this time is not going to simply do a flyby and flip us over. It's going to actually destroy the whole solar system. But as it is flying in now, coming towards us, and we're going to be on the same side as it is on the sun, uh -huh. a number of things are going to happen. First of all, the mass of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions because of the increased heat and the magnetic pull. Secondly, the mass of dust that is around it, and plus meteors, are going mm -hmm. to crash onto the Earth, and this is the, the thing that will turn the rivers and seas into blood, that look like blood. They will suffocate us in the atmosphere. That's why those idiots are going into the, the dumps, into their tombs uh, underground. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, massive meteors will occur. Mm -hmm. Now, there's one to occur in September that everyone knows about in this year. I think it's about 24th, 25th of September. Mm -hmm. That will also cause massive destruction on the Atlantic side of the United States. The, the Pacific has already been traumatized. If that one is not sufficient, there's another one prepared for November that year that no one has ever spoken about, and I've revealed it. And that one is coming through a wormhole to, to destroy the Earth as much as possible. That is only a 50% a chance at the moment. So if we get past November, uh, and, and this has been orchestrated by the beings who are helping destroy this place, because this place is quite evil, I'll come to the reason why it has to be destroyed in a moment, although I've explained it extensively in my books and website. After that, we, we will have from next season, about from March onwards, this dust that will suffocate every living thing. Mm -hmm. By the time the Earth is smashed to smithereens by another massive celestial object late in 2016, there will be no living thing on the planet, not even um, bacteria or viruses or mitochondria, nothing. Nothing will be in How much of this is going to be tied into Fukushima and other nuclear disasters? Yes, they're, they're all very minor. We haven't got time for them to continue because we're going to okay. finish early. All now, right. after the dust, we, because of the magnetic pull as it goes by, we're going to be swayed from one way to the other until the Earth flips on its axis, and that will cause drowning of everything else. Well, now, that, this yeah, time, that, no well, one will survive. Yeah, the oceans they, will cover they have everything. They stated that from records, they claim that about 10,000 people mm -hmm. uh, survived the last one that is written in Noah's uh, flood and so on. Mm -hmm. That's just an allegory. That's nonsense, of course. It wasn't like that at all. That some 10,000 people survived then. Um, but now this time, they, uh, no one will survive. There will be no Earth for the evil aliens that seeded this planet to come back and see it. They won't be coming back. They've already said they're not coming back. They know it's going to be destroyed, and they are going to be destroyed also. Mm -hmm. So there will be no continuity of life on this solar system, in this galaxy, as we know it. Sounds pretty grim. Everyone continues <laughs> on the other level, and right. they will be divided into three sections. I've explained this before. Um, a, a percentage of the living uh, population on Earth now, 9% in fact, will go on to another dimension to continue their evolutionary cycle. Um, the I always the like rest the number nine. are going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. They're going to be transmuted because they are created of evil matter that cannot exist in a, an evil free zone. Well, there's a uh, lot of I, evil I'm on I'm sorry this to planet. be heavy handed about this, no, no. but there's no other way to say it. So. The Earth has got less than two years to live. Mm -hmm. And all these other mechanisms you see, like Fukushima and the wars and so on, there's not even time for a nuclear war. These things are going to destroy the world. Uh, uh, there's no time for idiots to fight with their nuclear war anymore. That's time is past. Okay. So now we're, this is where we're at. All I can do at this stage is I say, as I told you so, 
I don't want to do that, but that's really all I can say. I told you so. What we can quickly do is to contact the ones that are contactable and to awaken and expect this that's coming and be prepared to do the hyper jump from their kitchen to the lounge room, as it were, from Mm. this dimension into the Mm. next one. Mm. There's no earth going into a fourth or fifth dimension. There will be no earth. There's no aliens that are going to come. There are some that are going to rescue us in different spots on the earth. I've mentioned this in my writings. But generally speaking, those of evil are finished. And everything else uh, is on this earth is finished. The death sentence has been... Uh, well, I'll, I'll vote for the end of evil any time. Yes, that's right. This is, this is part of it. And this is part due to a, a massive war. The whole physical universe has been an error. Now, it was asked to rectify itself and uh, the evil essence to be modified and made in earth, but it refused. It fought and fought and fought. So there's only one thing left to do, and that's open warfare and destroy it. Do you remember I told you that the light was going to be withdrawn from the sector and everything will fragment because they run out of energy? They need the energy from light beings to keep running. Evil Uh hasn't got its own energy. 